guys welcome back to this second map which has just started the second round of the second map between damage control element and bzk an absolute crack over first round we did just see between these two teams and uh, bzk took it i'm joined as always or well, not as always but for tonight as always by scopa from bravado gaming scopa rock and roll dude how is it going so far so good yeah the, the uh, choppers are pretty much in, in each other's faces BZK have come away with the, the first chopper win, which is nice to see for a change. Um, but I, yeah, yeah I, I actually don't have no idea what Axon is doing here. He's, he's almost gone in <laughs> He just face so deep. into a building, so he died. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I really don't understand that play. They had the chopper engagement one with three guys still on their choppers, and then they just pushed out into the open and died. You um, see though that King is King yeah. is alive there, but will that be enough? He does manage to get a single spawn on him. He does get shot down and so does he. So not a very good push onto Alpha Flag. They they won the initial chopper engagement and have lost it. And that's almost showing now as elements have got two flags off the start. Yeah, the rat prevailed. The rat push does not prevail there, unfortunately. <laughs> They were waiting for, for more spawns there on that roof and actually not paying enough attention to the guys that were attacking them. But, a, but an attempted bomb off the APC now by, by BZK, which didn't work either because, you know, Element, Element have got the troops that are on the roof. Well, hold on, they won the APC engagement. So the APC did go down. Yeah, yeah. Although BZK has won this APC engagement quite nicely. Again, they took it out as unexpectedly. Um, but they've got some decent uh, decent positioning on this A flag. The APC not covered at the bottom there. He only has fire to watch out from the left side. Um, oh, that's, that's a, a charging C4. Yeah. Charging C4. There Gets them. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. Oh my gosh. Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's baby. <laughs> Gets a few team kills with it too, but he won't mind because that APC is down. <laughs> oh, great work there. Yeah, DC really said we're not giving. I think about five to six guys there. Um, and nice awareness coming out there from Bucky's, who, who realized that the APC was kind of pinned into a corner against that seaside. Um, not sea flag, but the actual ocean. Um, <laughs> and couldn't go anywhere, so the, the C4 working out nicely for them there. And we'll just see, this is, this is what I was kind of also looking forward to see, is the boat to chopper engagements, which you wouldn't have seen because of attack jets in the past. And there it is, fear, get into cover dude, watch out. Manages to survive that engagement, does Elements Fear, so will he get any spawns on him? I don't think so. He did sneak through there and manages to get down, or we'll go down to zip up, excuse me. In the meantime though, Bravo flag, the infantry battles continue. Alright, so now the, the way BZK just lost their chopper this easily again, um, and now that they have a decent contingency, essentially their whole team on B, except for the APC that's pushing up. Um, if they manage to clear this out quickly and spot the APC pushes coming, they can they can get into quite a good, good position from where they are now. I, I just like the fact that they they're retreating their heli. They could be sitting easily on the on the Bravo flag. Let's see if it comes back in. Yeah, um, seeing that Axon on the other side of the map has got a stinger, so that that chopper will be getting a little bit of heat coming all the way from the gimme. Yeah, look so at the that's look at that, that flare coming off the, the boats, APC both going for them. Um, you see, this was the thing. Uh, EC pulled their chopper back just as, uh, sorry, uh, Berserk. Wait, I'm getting confused. Sorry, DC pulled their chopper back just as Berserk were, were pulling out of their base with a, a boat and with an APC. So now he would have been their primary spotting tool for that push. Now there's no spotting, there's no defense for A-Flag and they've just lost it without any sort of contest. Yeah, BZK will be happy about that because they've got outside flags now and they can work in on, on Bravo flag or kind of sit and hold. And that APC is also locked out almost, getting a lot of flak. So we're going to hopefully see Sumi doing some work here, manages to get King down. But like we mentioned, a lot of heat's going to be coming Sumi's way. Manages to tank one rocket. Got that Rep Star spinning spanner. Mm. 
looks like it's a very uncomfortable place to be for Sumi at the moment. Having to duck and dive between Hanron Resorts, stay alive, and still manages to get .exe. So still being effective though, still being a nuisance. Bucky As we see Bucky is with another, another, oh my gosh, Bucky is another C4 buggy. As another skill excuse me, it's just... Great work there by Yeah, the it's, uh, C4 is really power in this game. Um, given that, that how susceptible armor is to these, uh, just the amount of space on these maps. Yeah, but Euphoria is going to have to be careful. He doesn't have an APC to contend with anymore, but he's got a lot of very aggressive infantry players of BZK who won't like his presence there. Just kind of make sure he knows all about it. Best watch out though. No, so that's another... And, oh, hold on, I spoke way too soon. Zephyr with a back rage. That boat spawn is just the perfect spawn. Yeah, for that, oh my gosh. That engagement, and it's really, that's the way the risk is. Leaving your APC yes. in that position, you have to really um, turn it more around to those stairs where the boats are currently sitting. You can't turn your back to those boats, because that's a quite a popular spawn. Just in a lot of infantry action going on around Alpha Flag at this point in time. There's still a BZK presence, although not a very thick one. Only two. Now the spawns come back in. They really are really wanting to get this flag back as we see Sticky. Maybe being the only one that survived in this circumstance. Oh, Joker with yeah, a double DC pick. can't leave this flag too soon. They've got to realize that BZK <laughs> are really annoying when it comes to the... Um, a presence they can keep on a flag just by moving around perhaps Sticky. to another building, getting another spawn bomb off. Now they've got quite a decent... Oh my, yeah, th this crazy. flag is turning around quite quickly. That five fla five person takedown there. Um, it's really... It's just Mute, a bit of complacency there coming out of DC. They thought they had the flag one. Yeah, and the problem is now if those troops can get wiped, they've got no flags to spawn on. Ticking down all the tickets. Uh, so DC have got 40 tickets in hand um, before they before they lose out to, to Berserk's first round win. So they've got to be quite careful. Um, they have currently zero flags at present. Mm. And that bleed, unless they snuff out Zephyr, could be a bit of a spawn bomb happening here. Excuse me, not Zephyr. Spoke too soon there. They haven't. And that's three flags. Watch the bleed now. Yeah, if they can't if they can't get two flags now, they're gonna pretty much lose in about 20 seconds. So this is do or die for them. Oh, and as we see that we they see need a big spawn revive. bomb on B. If they don't get a big spawn bomb now, then so they they Joker almost need in. to abandon that heli. Yeah, Joker in, Shaz in, and three troops in. That flag is ticking down. They have managed to mute it. So that'll hopefully this be is super useful. Tight. <laughs> yeah, this is getting quite hectic here, guys. We'll if they had left that for a few POV. more seconds, that would have been all over. Um, so, uh, it's whether they can hold off this APC push on A. Oh, better watch out because BZK are pushing in quite aggressively as well. They know how important that Bravo flag is and Where there's another going, trade. Euphoria? Where are you going? Let's have a look. Yeah, Euphoria almost kind of leaving all the action or maybe trying to stay alive to stage for for a desperate squad bomb manages to get dot exe but very much out of play there yeah look it. I, I dc miscalculated a bit there they they did a whole spawn bomb on a which just mean they've, they've lost the round now but it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway um berserk just said fine you can have b we'll get your back flag yeah, good work there by BZK, just being the wiser. They've maintained the advantage. They've bled this one below below where, where Element would have wanted it to go. And what that means, guys, is we are going to go to the Decider. We're going to a third map. This is going to go in favor of BZK as we watch the tickets slowly bleed out and both teams battling till the last shell hits the ground. Scopa, what an... Incredible comeback by BZK. I'm, I'm really happy, like I said. I'm glad that they put a bigger showing and we get to go to the third deciding map. Yeah, um, I feel that the way this, the, the way the map has turned so dramatically relative to the first map, 
is just indicative of DC not being well prepared enough on this, uh, this second map. Um, it looks like they're much more comfortable on Siege, but now on Hainan, maybe with the jet change, it's mixed things up a bit because I know they used to use a jet pilot. They have uh, a few capable jet pilots. Um, and I know they did rely on it previously, so maybe that has thrown a spanner in the works. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a kickback at Elements. They, they're going to have to put their dukes up for the next map, which is going to be Rogue Transmission. Quite an open map, and again, like we mentioned often, no more jet. So that's going to maybe be the deciding factor there as we see the kind of the teams just battling it out the last few seconds of battle. Elements APC struggling to get into to Alpha Flag, the defense being a little bit too strong and we see a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky King going for a, for a, a spanner kill. Didn't work there. <laughs> nice game though. Scopa, this this Battlefield Z8 tournament has actually been quite a quite a lacquer one for the competitive teams. Managing to to kind of warm up the feathers, ruffle themselves up, you know, get the fingers working again and uh, get back into battlefield mode. As you guys know from next week, we're going into competitive winter leg of battlefield South Africa. So you guys... Yeah, yeah. Uh, a nice thing as well is that um, we're seeing some different teams play. Um, I don't think these two teams would have played very often before. Same can probably be said for Ecstasy and Prodigy who played tonight. Um, and NDM Pulse, I don't know how that map, how that uh, match has gone. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, just some different matchups coming out. It's quite interesting. Yeah, it's nice to see, and it's also it's also maybe a, a more a, a more relaxed kind of environment for the guys to try maybe new tactics out, new rotations, kind of see what what works and what doesn't. Maybe try throw some unorthodox plays into the mix. And as I say that, this one is going to bleed out completely in favor of BZK. So GG to BZK, they've equalized this one. One map each will be going to the Decider and Rogue Transmission. I'm Fatso, joined tonight by the one and only Scoper. Thanks for joining me, buddy. We'll be right back, guys.